everybody, this is Randy with Carchaeology, and I want to share another little tale of a car from my car-filled life. And it obviously was directly inspired by the taxi bug that I shared in a previous video, but I'm going to tell you the story of the school bus. So with the success of the taxi bug, I had all sorts of other ideas to do other themed cars. And uh, one would be to do a police car. I always thought that would be funny to show, you know, a, a police beetle with donuts on the seat and that sort of thing. But I also wanted to do a school bus. Now, it was a number of years later that I did it. This was actually featured in 2005. Um, but it was kind of the next, next truly wacky uh, VW uh, theme vehicle uh, that I put together and it came out really fun. I had found a shortened and chopped uh, 21 window VW bus uh, that was for sale locally and I ended up trading something to the guy for it. Uh, it was dark green when I got it. It was really rough. It had obviously been built a long time ago um, but it was fun to take it and transform it into the short bus with all of the jokes that go along with that. Uh, so I took some old ski racks uh, or surf racks more, more accurately and I made some school bus signs uh, for the front and the back. I did uh, graphics on it, uh, stop one red lights flash and Wolfsburg Elementary, which just seemed to be fitting. Uh, it had little chopped safari windows in it. Um, since the roof was chopped and I'm a tall guy, I ended up using dune buggy seats so that I could ride in the thing without bumping my head. And it had a fairly sizable motor in it. It was pretty hot. And when we first got the thing, and it was kind of rough and I started stripping it down to get it ready to do body and paint and that sort of thing. Uh, when it was totally hollowed out, I did a couple of speed runs around the, uh, the local uh, streets and actually got the front wheels off the ground with a good good stab of the gas. Uh, but once it was all together with the glass all in it and the sunroof and, and all the seats and everything, it would, I couldn't get it to do a wheelie. But one of the best parts about the uh, photo shoot for Volksworld magazine um, was that we had some fun with it. So I uh, got my son and some neighbor kids uh, involved. Um, we parked it in front of the local school. Uh, they hooked me up uh, looking short. I did the whole dwarf thing with my legs into my shoes. So I look like I'm short like the bus. And we were laughing so hard. My favorite part was one of my son's friends with his face pressed up against the glass doing a funny thing there. And it was absolutely hilarious. And there's my oldest son, Dane, there holding his backpack with his teeth. And then behind that railing there is my son, Ian, that I took with me on uh, the trip to pick up the uh, the uh, 65 Beetle called Duck. And, I, and that's him getting into it as well. So it's a cool little memory of, uh, you know, time with my kids and having our own bus. Uh, my son, Ian, wanted to ride to school in the bus. And so we actually took him there in it, which was fun. So I can say my kids rode the short bus, which they may or may not think is funny. Um, but it was an absolute blast to uh, drive around and, and have fun with. Eventually I sold the school bus and it went to Florida. Uh, and I believe it went to uh, the Lane Motor Museum for a short bit. Uh, and then it popped up for sale and a friend of mine in California bought it and brought it back out here to SoCal. And when they shipped it, apparently the shipper had tied down the front end uh, on the tie rods and it tweaked the front end out of alignment. Uh, and when my buddy got in it and drove it, it absolutely scared the, the crap out of him because it wouldn't steer, it was all over the road. And he swore that he would not keep it at that point. And he told me all about it. I tried to talk him through the process of fixing it. Um, but but it had scared him and he didn't want anything to do with it. So I ended up trading him a car that I had uh, for it. Uh, so I ended up getting it back. And I played around with it a little bit more. And then it sold to somebody in England. And it went over there. Uh, and from that point, uh, it was transformed into a more standard looking 21 window bus, uh, still shortened and chopped, but painted in normal colors and it lost its school bus theme. 
which I guess makes sense because school buses in England don't look like that. They're not bright yellow. They don't say school bus. They don't say stop when red lights flash. Um, so it lost its school busedness, but it still remains out there today uh, and is alive and well. Anyway, absolute blast. Uh, fun little theme vehicle. Another freak show sort of VW that uh, got my name recognized by a lot of people. And uh, boy, we had fun with that silly short bus. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, and one more thing on the school bus. It was actually featured in VW Trends magazine as well as Volksworld. Uh, and I think it also made it into a German magazine as well. But this was the spread from the uh, February 2005 VW Trends. And it was the same photo shoot in front of a school in a local area there. Uh, I had a little toy beetle or a toy school bus there on the seat uh, a little notebook a little crossing guard stop sign um you know definitely a fun fun thing and then it too seemed to sort of inspire something i was at a toy show and came across this little short school bus and i always wondered did somebody see that and go oh that's fun let's make a toy that looks like this heck i don't know but I like to think it somehow inspired it.